Hi, Glenn Phillips here with Lake Homes Realty and lakehomes.com. Today I want to talk about five home pricing mistakes that sellers must just get over. And this applies at the lake and off the lake. They're the same five mistakes. Here they are right now. One, what you, as a homeowner, paid for the property. You know, when you bought the property, did you ask, I want to know how much the previous owner had in it? The buyers do not care. The market speaks. If you're fixating what you're selling your house on and what you paid for it, you're going to miss opportunities if that price is overly inflated. It has nothing to do with the current market and people are not uh, uh, unaware. They know what the market says. Thing you need to get over number two, the prices of nearby homes currently for sale. You go online, you look and you see these properties around you, houses like yours, and you see what they're for sale. Well, we're in a hot market. Here was what you need to pay attention. Those homes for sale, if they're not under contract, are overpriced and the market is ignoring them. That's not the sale price. That's the price they've listed it for. And if it's not quickly pending and under contract or sold, then it's being ignored because it's overpriced. Now, I know you want that high number when you're selling your house, but don't compare it to unsold homes that are near you. All right, item number three, your personal effort. Uh, I see this even on great television shows, these shows where the home sellers explain, well, you know, all my blood, sweat, and tears is in this patio or this kitchen, or we redid and remodeled this ourselves. Hey, it's human nature. We value our own effort and money, but this has nothing to do when somebody's buying the home. Whether you put it in or a contract, in fact, they may even, the, the buyers may even be more interested if it was done by a professional contractor than your personal effort. So while this in it has an effect of making you want to value the property more because you know how much you worked to put into it. Hey, a contractor paid a nice price would have done equal effort or maybe even better. So your personal effort has no effect on selling your home. All right, number four, rumors of a crazy high sale price of a home near yours. You know, you hear, oh, I heard so-and-so's house down the street, which mine's nicer, sold for this crazy price. Well, you know what? Even if it's true, if it's an outlier, that's an oddity. What you need to look at is comparables from a, a licensed real estate agent with access to here's what homes have really sold for and don't fixate on the outliers. What is the mean, what is the average of the most recently sold homes that are comparable? Not the rumor you heard. That's not going to affect your, your real market value. And you know what? That house could have been some extenuating circumstance. Perhaps it was a family transaction. It was a way to move some cash. Maybe somebody just had a, an emotional need for that home. Maybe it was a home they grew up in and they wanted to buy it back and pay the premium. That may not affect how you sell your home. All right, and number five, this is a big one that home sellers need to get over. Don't take low offers personally. I see a lot of people, well, that's so low, I'm not even gonna respond. I tell you what, a low offer is better than no offer. A low offer is your opportunity to respond and not be offended. It's a business transaction, it's not personal. If you're taking it personal, you're gonna ignore opportunity. A low offer, remember, is an opportunity to respond and it's the beginning of a negotiation and a discussion. If they say no to your counter offer, that's fine, but being offended and not responding is missing opportunity. So these are my five home pricing mistakes sellers must get over to get the most money for their home in the current market. Hey, whether you're at the lake or not, I hope this is helpful, but when you're looking to buy and sell lake property, be sure and visit us at lakehomes.com. We have tens of thousands of lots and homes for sale across the country, plus our own licensed agents who can help you, whether you're buying or selling, understand the nuances of the market at each of the lakes that we operate. Hope this is helpful. Visit us online as well for more stories and tips, and have a great day. For more information, be sure to check out lakehomes.com.